Hello, hello again, everyone. This is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. Hey, how's everybody doing today? Hope that this video finds everybody doing well. You know, we talk a lot about the grocery store, but um, here's something I'd like to point out to some people that think that basically all of the prices across the area are all the same. No, 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 no. This is the New York area, and specifically, this is Manhattan. Even by crossing over a bridge, let's say to go to Brooklyn or to Queens, I can actually get better prices just by taking a little trip by car over to Brooklyn or Queens. However, you have to weigh out the cost of everything. The time, the extra time it's taking, the gas it would take, and all the extra effort. Whereby, this is a local market that's, you know, very close by and, uh, you know, convenient. Now, this is where you are paying for convenience. Now, tell me something. How much coffee creamer, the small one, do you pay for in your area? We're talking about the small one. What I'll do in a few minutes is I'll put uh, pictures up of the items that I'm talking about, okay? So a typical uh, small jar, you know, bottle of the powdered coffee mate, original powdered creamer here, runs for $3.69. So I wanted to for convenience, okay? And you know those little packs of those Nescafe, those instant coffee packs? I enjoy the French roast. I love instant coffee. I'm one of those crazy people that actually enjoy instant coffee. Not only is it convenient, but for me, it has the perfect blend of taste. Don't get me wrong. Of course, I like my, you know, real canned coffee as well. But for convenience and for me, it just hits the spot. And this particular, um, the, by the way, <laughs> this is not a sponsored ad. If it was, I'd let you know this is not a sponsored ad. Okay. But I personally, this is my opinion, I enjoy these type of products. Um, okay, now the peanut, uh, peanut pan peanut butter, the creamy one. By the way, try saying that five times straight without twisting your tongue. Okay. Uh, not the big one. Not the big one. And I'll show you a picture of that. That went for $3.99. Uh, I needed a reusable plastic bag, so that went for 50 cents. Now, okay, uh, Eggland's Best Large White Eggs. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what you pay for it by you, but uh, it's $2.99, but it was marked down $1.20 off of the regular price. Okay, so get a load of what I'm trying to say. We're saying over four dollars. Okay, unless I misunderstood, I do know that under normal circumstances, at weird times, it can come to that. Okay, I have paid uh, much less for eggs sometimes, and when times are tougher in the egg department, I have paid much more for eggs at times. So, actually, I'm trying to get a grip on this. I don't really remember offhand, but I'm thinking that the actual price was walking away paying two ninety nine. The worst thing is that maybe they took down a dollar twenty. So forgive me about misunderstanding that, but this is real life and I'm an honest person. Now, I have to laugh when it says pre sliced mozzarella log. There is nothing pre sliced. It is uh it is a brand that uh, sounds like Albany, but you use a G. <laughs> okay, and it's not pre sliced, it's a log. So that was uh four ninety nine and, uh, oh, I see what's going on here. It was marked down from $7. That log would have been $7. And the big bargain is at $4.99. Uh, this other one here is Boar's Head Yellow American Cheese. And that normal price is $6.99. Anybody having a fainting uh, spell somewhere in another area of the country wondering? Yes. And I don't blame you for it. Here's the thing. When you live in the inner city... You're paying for convenience, okay, so-called convenience, okay. So effectively, what we're paying for are the person's overhead. <laughs> this supermarket is in a prime real estate location in the city, and unfortunately, we're basically helping to pay their rent, okay? Okay, I'm just pointing this stuff out. However, there are times that, believe me or not, it is actually worth going for that convenience, like, for example, in the wintertime. Or if you don't feel like getting in your car, if you don't want to lose your parking space, if you don't want to spend the gas, if you don't want to spend the extra two hours just traveling, gallivanting around, and basically, you, you know, paying for convenience. So it's like a flip-flop. Another thing, sometimes it's better off just using your online options 
going for uh, stores that you know you may end up getting a better price on things. You'll never see me buy paper goods in a place like this. That's not going to happen. I'd rather buy my paper goods in bulk, have them on hand, and get the best possible price. Why? Because I know I'm going to make up the difference somewhere or another by using the so-called uh, convenience stores. I'm just pointing it out, and I do have a question for my viewers. How much do you pay for a dozen eggs in your location? How much would you pay for any of these items? I am curious to know. And then in a, a minute or two, I'm going to snap some pictures. I'm going to pull them up. And that way you know the exact size of the product that I'm talking about. And uh, this should be very, very interesting. Did I get a good price on that coffee? You know those six little pouches? Well, put it this way, no matter what. Even if it's six cups of coffee per uh, box, guess what? That's still a heck of a lot cheaper than going somewhere else and spending, let's say, two fifty for or three dollars for a cup of coffee outside. To me, that is still a bargain. And furthermore, six into a dollar seventy, you do the math, okay? So I'm getting basically, um, basically, well, it's six cups, okay? It's basically thirty cents a cup, thirty cents a cup of coffee versus. A couple of bucks? No, not worth it. So, okay, the only thing that was probably maybe a little wasteful was the reusable plastic bag. So the bottom line is this. While I know, while I know I'm paying for this grocery store's overhead, and I know I am, but I'm also getting the convenience of a close-by location. Just saying, just saying. How does it work out for you? I am curious to know. And thank you so much for sharing your information. I really, really do appreciate it. So I'm going to snap a couple of pictures. I'm going to end this with a little bit of music. You look at the pictures, and if you have a chance, let me know if this was a steal or if these items were a deal. In my opinion, it's a little bit of a steal plus the deal of convenience. You can't have everything. Just saying, just saying. And the grand total was, okay, 33.21. It was 33.21. Okay. And I'll be back tomorrow for Money Monday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.